Hey Turtle Club, good morning. It is once again time for some Legend of Zelda Skyward Toward 100. I am Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming Studios, CTG Studios. And we're on the Convertible Turtle Gaming YouTube channel. That's our family friendly channel for anyone who's concerned about the content we're going to have here. A funny thing happened. I So I swear this is like a DC Batman logo. But for some reason, the green screen system. Um, I really need to get my, my main green screen up. So there's a few things in the turtle cave that has to happen for us to be able to get that going. Um, but it's going to be a bit. Alright, so where we were though. We were about to head out to get some trial by fire going. We just... We just gave someone a stamp potion, and I think I think we want to really quickly sleep today because we have to be able to fly. Um, so that's the one thing there. Oh, that's the other thing. I was so worried about the green screen here because the green screen I, I've I've adjusted the settings, messed with the things, and it's still not working <laughs> to get the Batman logo going, which is kind of weird. Uh, but the other thing I forgot to do is, there we go, make sure our alarm is set, because today's a buffet. Today's a buffet, and we are going to be updating some of this text a little later. We're going to try a different rule for today's buffet, and we're going to basically, um, the first sponsor who shows up, instead of it just be a minute, uh, they're going to actually have a, a minute plus rounding up to the nearest five. We've been doing that anyways, basically. We have a sponsor show up. Whatever the time is, we're going to round to the nearest five. We're then going to, because it's such an awesome benefit for our sponsors to have when they show up, we're going to also do a rolling time. First sponsor rolls up to the nearest five, and they only add a minute. Second sponsor won't roll up, because the first person's already doing that, but they'll add two. Three for the third one, four for the fourth one. Boy, that's kind of washing me out. I'm going to have to really mess with that green screen combination. But basically, if every single sponsor we have, all four of them, were to show up today, that'd be one plus two, which is a total of three, plus three, which is a total of six, plus four, which is a total of ten. And because they round up to the nearest five, it'd actually be a total of fifteen. So if all of our four sponsors show up, with their powers combined... We won't have Captain Planet show up, but what we will have is 15 minutes of time. So really looking forward to the day. The, the goal is to go to that wonderful volcano that's always here in every single Zelda game and start really kind of delving into there. So first thing I do want to do, though, is we want to go see if we have given enough. I, I want to say that that's the bathroom, right? There's the exit. Here we are in episode 31. Did I update the increment? I did. Episode 31. And I still have yet to figure out how the academy works as far as, like, walking around goes. Alright. My bearings. That's the other thing I wish was different in this game. Is I really wish I could change my camera angle while running. Just little things. Things that they changed in Breath of the Wild. Ah, there we go. Hey, Fledge. Wants me to visit again tonight. Okay. Well, how much currency do we have? We have just a hundred. Ah. Okay. Well, there's not much we can do there. It looks like this is going to be like a really long, drawn-out feed his confidence over and over again. All right. That's fine, though. Let's go ahead and get our Broadwing. Bam. Still want to be able to chop down that tree 43 times. So that's that's on my list of things to do. Alright. 
pull our map up, we need to go to the volcano. And I, pre I presume there's something else we still need to find. Because there was something in the forest, right? There was something over by the, the desert. So I would presume that we have something that our little bitty retrieval bot's going to have to find in the volcano. And I really couldn't say for certain what it is. But we'll see how it goes. For those of you wondering how long this stream is going to be, it's going to be two hours plus. We're going to do some plus ultra today, guys. And the way we get the bonus time is the number of viewers we have at nine, plus the number of likes, and the number of additional subscribers, all adds up to the total. Speaking of subscribers, we are at 2119, actually. All right, so every time we come to one of these places, we have to basically be at um, the where the map starts at, and that's this volcano entry, and this is volcano east. So I'm gonna presume entry is where where it started off to begin with. So we're gonna go bring down our sail and let that happen. Boom. And just a real quick thing so we can get this proper. We've arrived at the Volcano, dousing to locate the trial. I don't think... Oh, hey, here's our Goron friend. Hey, we can now find Goddess Cubes? Ooh! Now, this here really good um I, i've been kind of really iffy on the whole your dousing abilities improved and i'm like okay well that doesn't really help us thrill digger that's one of the mini games this is the area where we'll find some bonus stuff all right come on guys all right So, well now, well that's a real large area of coverage, wow. Alright, for the sake of argument, we'll just put that there for now. And we ought to we ought to try to find the trial, right? Wow. So if I was the enterprising sort. I would probably think the trial's there. As we get closer, we can home into it a bit better. But we're going to go with that. Bye. So long. Farewell. All right. That works. Bow's really good for this. I am very happy with the bow. Probably not a bad idea to pick some bombs up. Alright, we have all the bombs we need.
Everything's pretty good there. Alright, so let's go to our dousing ability. How <laughs> you ship Lincoln Fi. Um, you know, I for all of the fairies that Link has had hanging around with him, I would say Fi is Fi, how you want to say it. I would say that they are the least annoying. Um, that says a lot. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the quality of information that they give is still pretty lackluster. I, I always dislike or distrust games where it's like, hey, lean on me to tell you what's going on. And the NPC is always, oh, I have no information for that. Alright, so somewhere that direction. Which makes sense. Did you just call Fee they? Um, well, I don't believe Fee has actually ever told us their gender. So I never assign a gender to somebody until I've been told. In my understanding about the Zeldaverse is fairies actually don't have a completely determined gender. Because there's something else beyond being mortal. Alright. Alright, have a good day, dude. So now we have all that we need here. Keep going up. So now, let's try... Interesting. So that's probably where we need to go, actually. So down the sand path will get us where we need to go. Right around there, it looks like. Not sure why that's marked there at the moment. Not sure what that's marked there at the moment. I think that's because we're trying to find the Goddess Cube. At this moment, let's go switch back over to Goddess Cube. Let's see if there's any around here. So, Goddess Cube in this area here, probably. So it's still further that direction, so probably across that way. So around this way, maybe? Hmm. Not seeing any telltale signs. Hmm. And I would dare say that we have no way to really cross the lava. Yeah. Ah. So that's not going to be our, our, our entrance, so we're going to go this way. And hope for the best. Fire bats! Come on, peace.
So keep going through, I guess. And we just lost the dung beetle a little bit. Nope, still there. All right. Awesome. Okay, so... It says it's that way. Well now... Is this something that's going to be one of those traversables, possibly? Interesting. Alright, so let's get our claw shots out. Looks like there's nothing to claw shot onto over here. Which is very unfortunate. Go this way to possibly get where we need to go. So let's slowly but surely and methodically make our way this way. So, this is saying that somewhere off in this area is another goddess box. And somewhere off in that area is a goddess box. So, that area seems to be a bit more our speed. We need to hang a hard right to get to the trial. So, okay. Just kind of shortcut it a little bit for us. Boom, boom, boom. Spider Link. Spider Link. If he sweats, does he stink? These are very important questions, guys. Alright. So, through here... That's the fire room. That we can really quickly come through here like that. Alrighty. We know... And we need to hang the right, so we're going to hang the right. So back that direction is clearly this stuff. Huh. 
So I want to bet both of the goddess cubes here are probably in the other zone. At this point. So let's switch back over to the trial. Trial seems to be this way. Alright. Ah. So isn't there an easy way to get over there that I'm greatly forgetting about? Well, maybe not, but there is a monster piece there. Ooh. Hmm. So, maybe this way is where I need to go. Okay, that's fine. Boy, this is going to be a, uh... Pretty gnarly quest. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Here goes the sword. This place looks pretty gnarly, Turtle Club. I'm not gonna lie. We've we've managed to do all of. Oh my gosh. We have to go down Toad's Wild Ride, too, it looks like, to get this. Alright. Din's Silent Realm is pretty amazing. No questions. Alright. Wow, there's already a guardian right there too. Man, how do you like that? So for 90 seconds, we get to go free. I saw this right there, so we had to go pick that up. Oh, wow. The uh, developers found a way to make this part of the level even more annoying. Oh, no! That was not what we were trying to do. Far from it. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Magical Zelda Fruits. Good to know that there's one of those horrible people right there. 
another one of these spirit realm pieces we need. Alright. Oh, wow. So that clearly is the... Hmm. Alright. Oh no, not again. Oh. Oh, this is a problem. This is a very big problem at this point. Alright, so we're safe in here. So we're going to run through here. And hope we come up to... Something. Alright, so they know where we're at. Oh! Oh! That's not what we needed. This is where we needed. Alright. Come on. Alright. So we got one of those, which is great. Vines, okay. I was like, we're gonna have to jump in the lava for that? Oh, come on now. About to say, Din's rude for that, but Din's all that, not all that bad, okay. So we're gonna have to go back up and re-ride the rails, as it were. Once again, we go. Come on, swing up, 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 swing, swing. Swing, swing, ah! Why well, doesn't technically count as a death, does it? <laughs> So, providing we don't actually scuff this up this time, I think we're alright. Alright, wait for it and then start going. Juke it, jive it, and jump up it. All right. So I think we're good there. So the next thing is this. Is 
Oh no. Uh ha. <laughs> that was some stupid stuff there. But we've accomplished it. Alright. Wish we could knock that down. It'd be so much easier. But alas, no. All right, can I just run and jump and grab that? Nope. Okay. Does that actually disqualify us from the trial? It does not. It just costs us a little bit of time. That's not the worst thing to happen. All right. That said, we know that we have a whole world down here to explore. And we know that actually comes about from the, the tunnels up there. So that seems to be fine. That seems to be fine. All right. So now that we have quite a lot of those tunnels hidden, and we have more than the whole entire world after us, or less than the whole entire world after us, I can take a moment to actually come to this cave. There we are can't take a lot of heat damage in here this time because we're in the spirit world all right oh well how about that it's got the ones that we've gotten marked on the path even if it's our second time through so let's go over here. Alright, so clearly we need to go over hard right. Oh, we missed it. That's fine. That's fine. We'll just reset. Reset's a little bit dicey, but we reset. All right, so we're gonna be chased by evil again, clearly, because my silliness just did not allow us to do this right. Cut the hard right. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe we can run? Maybe it'll give us the opportunity to run? It will. Awesome. Oh my gosh. That was... That was some uber cheese. That actually worked to our advantage. Alright. No. How about we go back up and then take this piece. All right. Hop, skip, and jump. Ah. Shells, but all right. We 
have... Alright, so we're going to leave that for a second. Anything in this cave? Oh, well, there's a giant hammer that we'd love to get our hands on, but alas, that's not for us. Alright, so when you look this way... Okay. Alright, so now we're off the rope. Ooh, howdy. So, three here. Oh, come on now. Wow. Alright. Greedy Mag is greedy. He gets all the shinies. I don't know if you guys saw this turtle club or not, but the last one we need is all the way up the top. So... We have... This much time to get all the way back up. Down a balance rope through a crawl tube so much stress all the way back through all this oh man I'm gonna be chased for everything here. I'm all for like cinematic awesomeness, but this is just too much. I'm greedy, but I'm not crazy. Alright. Oh. See it to the left a little bit. Alright. Oh, we missed it, didn't we? Oh, here it is. Oh my gosh. We thought we missed it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Turtle Club. Oh, take a take a second. Take a second. A second. Oh, that. Whew. Okay. Okay. All right. So there's our uh, there's our spiritual growth as a person. Um, wow, that was bananas. All right. So now all we have to do is just make it back without doing bad things. Man, these levels are just rough. Whew. Okay.
for Grady. We remember very politely over here was a was a shiny that we missed. Alright, there's our shiny. We no longer need <laughs> more. Oh my gosh, Turtle Club. That was That was unfortunate. We we had a pretty good run. Why? I mean the other two trials we never like got slashed at. So not bad. Not bad. The Fire Shield Earrings. Okay. So instead of having like magma armor or something along those lines, we have earrings that will make us fireproof. Alright, and we know that this direction here get us some ladybugs will lead us all the way to the big huge scary fire level I can only imagine, like, in the original game, you just kind of do this to catch bugs. I could have sworn this is where the lava pit was. Other direction, possibly. already know that this is the the door through here so let's see what we find on this other side Hello, lots of fire stuff the volcano summit that's pretty cool Searching for flames. Alright. Wow, that is quite an increase in the map, too. So, I don't have a dousing for flames, though, Fee. So, somewhere over there is clearly a goddess cube. And somewhere like over here, or maybe there, is also a goddess cube. And I would be willing to bet like right there. First thing we do after we get totally ambushed by everything that's on fire is save our game. Save early, save often. Always want to do that. Bam. Alright. So 
So before we drop down and become a problem for ourselves, we always want to double check some stuff. Alright, there's the first goddess cube. So, again with the riding on lava thing, clearly. Because there is a passageway. Alright, so we're used to that. So that room, super correct. This room here, this is odd. This looks like there should be some sort of like treasure chest or any number of things there and there's not okay One of those all roads lead to sadness kind of things. Like. Very confused. Sure, oh, this guy. Alright. Let's see where this leads. Hey, it's a Goron. Quench my thirst to clear your path? So I don't see any water in here. I don't think I've got a single tool that has anything to do with water. Alright, so we'll sink up here. Hey, Colin, how's it going, man? So yeah, there's definitely some kind of water going on. Surely. Not claw shotable. Thirsty, not hungry. It looks like it's more than one. All right. Hmm. I'm doing pretty good, Colin. Thank you for asking as well. Um, almost lost internet for a while. It was frustrating, to say the least. Oh, there's water. Okay. Oh, wow. Huh. That looks like somewhere that we should be able to get up to, but 
lo and behold, the game is being the game again. Yeah, uh, internet connection goes out. It, it's it's kind of no bueno. Oh, wrong tool. Let's see, that clearly has stuff down there. All right. Oh, to be able to be the Kokiri boy that can jump. Alright, so we're going to skip us out some water. And as important as the hair potion might be, uh, we need an empty bottle of water more than that, so... Alright. Oh, run away, run away, run away. Bam. And just a second, Rotor Club. Had something catch my eye. Yep, that's exactly what it needed. There we go. There is another one of these Sheikah Vol Stones. A piece of heart, but you have to burrow like a magba. All right. Well, that's not a piece of heart. Wait, are these like? Oh my gosh, we're gonna be getting the ability to like dig through tunnels, I guess. That's interesting. No little buggy, don't go in the don't go in the flames. The flames are not good for you. What? Okay. So Oh. Oh, I feel stupid. Alright, let's go. Go it in. Alright, back through here. Pardon me, sir, I don't have time for you. Alright. I hear a little chime when we come in here, too. I don't know what the chime's for. How is Digrat? Um, Digrat, D-I-G-R-A-T. Um, but to answer your question, she's doing pretty good. She's doing good. She, uh, what is the,
save. I see. I hear. I hear beeping is bad. But yeah, she's been doing some yard work lately. Um, we're kind of getting used to the. Oh, that's my uh, air potion. Okay. I thought that was like my my earrings were about to give out. I was really confused. So let's let's do this. But yeah, she's been doing some garden work, some mowing the lawn. Uh, she's been actually doing some weed work as well. But dealing with all the pollen here has been kind of different. Um, not as bad for me, but unfortunately something in the air around here, Dig Red, is not really jiving well with. Her, uh, her allergies are a lot worse off than mine, which is very unusual for us. So... Clearly, clearly not what we're thinking here. All right. Um, so the hook shot can get us some places, but it doesn't look like it's going to get us anywhere there. Huh. No, nothing in the inventory that makes me think that we're there. Okay. So clearly, this one is open so we can actually get this bug through. And that... I can't help but feel like that is part of this. Ooh. Here we go. Maybe not. Hey, Colin! Thank you for being a member of the Turtle Club. So that doesn't look like to be it either. But, since you are a actual sponsor now of the channel, you actually have added an extra minute to the stream for just being here. And because you are also the first sponsor to talk, we are going to round up the stream time by five minutes once we get the total at nine a.m. today. So thank you for joining. Really appreciate that, man. Brings us up to five, and as soon as I uh, drop this on this guy's head, that's not what we need to do either. Apparently, is there water? through here that I missed. It's carrying a lot of water there. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and increase this real quick. Bam. Boom. And five sponsors. Thank you, Colin. Really appreciate that. Got you a nice little badge there. Get access to a number of special emojis. So I see some bombs here. And usually this doesn't give bombs to us unless we have things to use bombs for. So I'm going to... Hmm. Yeah, I like the lurk emoji.
You feel like Shadow now. <laughs> Alright. That's clearly the big entrance. We clearly have to have a way to get to that goddess cube. Let's go ahead and stock up on our bombs. Maybe if we go back to the water source, we'll get some sort of inspiration. I still feel like there's something going on here that we don't know about. Whoa, that's a lot of people to stab. Whoa, lots of things to have to fight. Okay. And we are desperately running low on arrows. So actually what we're going to do here is switch over to our scatter shot. Which of course doesn't beat these guys, I forgot about that. So nothing there. The fact we can put out the fire is interesting. We can blow the lava, that too is interesting. Hey! I'm all for being like Zelda the backtracking, but this is a little much. Like, a lot much. Okay. Well then. I still feel like my, my claw shot should be allowed to reach all the way down there. All right, so let's just, let's just kind of explore a bit, shall we? Let's see, there's a bomb there. Clearly there's a Spider-Man path here. Oh, it looks like we go from up to down. Interesting. Okay. So how does that work? Because we can't just climb up here. We've already tried that. Is there a secret behind the waterfall? No? Not showing any air currents here either. All right. Well, that is that is fr that's got some frustration to it.
So there's so much more to this level than meets the eye. Which is awesome! But also just a little... Um... That's great. And the dragon statue being here is kind of also meh. But. Alright, so that ping noise I'm hearing, I think, is the earrings activating. I bet if we go here, we'll hear it again. Yeah, okay. All right, so I understand what that is now. That was a that was a noise that I was not familiar with, and so it was making me skeptical. All right, so monster part, monster part. Looking for our bird statue. Ooh, a gold insignia. Awesome. Alright, so now we have to go back to Lake Fior. So we're going to save first, because we always save early and we always save often. And... Return to the sky. Man, this is this is some epic level backtrack stuff. Like, I'm used to Zelda being, okay, you're gonna have to backtrack a bit in the dungeon, right? Like, that's one thing. But for the game to go, not only do you have to backtrack out of this dungeon, but you have to go back to a different dungeon to beat this dungeon, that's just that's just a bit much. That's just a bit much. So I'm presuming this is where we're going to want to be at. Landmines last time we were here, but hey. Alright, somewhere in here. So straight ahead that way, so that's not bad. Hello, water dragon. Oh. 
I'm not really fond of this little guy as far as Link's concerned, right? But I think it's kind of neat. What a real hero looks like. So this is like super mini questy. I mean, Dragon's a big dude. That's for that's for certain. All right. Anything here? Looks like everything here is well taken care of. Alright. Save, because save early, save often. Anytime we come across one of these and we've accomplished anything, we definitely want to put a save to it. Alright. And to the sky we go. And just a reminder, Turtle Club, that this is a buffet stream, and the way we do things is once the 9 o'clock hour happens to happen, we're going to stop the stream for a brief second to do some totaling. And the totaling... Alright, we're going to go this way. Is going to be the number of viewers we have, plus the number of likes we have. Plus the number of new channel subscribers we have. We're currently at 2119. We'll total that up. And then the number of sponsors that we have joined the stream. Uh, Colin, thank you for joining the stream today and being our new sponsor. Really appreciate that. And because we have a sponsor in, we'll round up to the nearest five minutes on the stream timer as well. Boom. Ha! <laughs> I better get there before Master Short Pants. Wow. Wow. Well, this is different. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, congratulations, Troll Tindo. You finally have outdone yourself. Nothing like backtracking into an escort quest. Get got mag synchro. Sure do love the arrows they just gave me though. Catch some ladybugs. Alright, so we're going to have to do this all Elder Scrolls Skyrim kind of like. <laughs> I 
That was rather amusing. I got shot in the head with an arrow and then got an arrow. Pick up some more arrows. That all looks fine. That all looks fine. Alright, up this way. enough arrow shots takes this guy out. It does. Awesome. Alright. In the words of GTA 5 girls, stay low, stay sneaky, and we'll get there. While we're here, might as well fill up our little bitty bottle of water. Alright. To say it looked like I still had range on this guy. Not that one there. Alright, fine. Well, he is, he is just a little bit on the annoying side. Wait for me, he says. Alright. Let's see. I'm willing to bet we have something really horrible waiting for us at the top here. Seems to be good there. I wonder if Skyward Sword had any way to tell where you're hitting the enemies. Like if my if I'm hitting headshots. Am I getting credit for him? Or not? Being down to four arrows is four arrows is not good. I'm gonna need some more arrows before this is all over, I can already tell. Wait for me. You are like the slowest worth path worst pathing type of thing ever. Oh, 
Whoa. Quickly, quickly. Ah. All right. Can I hook this? So let's hook that. Alright, so not close enough. Hmm. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Two bombs and they're out. Okay. That I can handle. Alright. Please restock my arrows. Please restock my arrows. Please restock my arrows. Those are not arrows. If this was the original Legend of Zelda game, that would have been perfectly fine. But this is not. <laughs> slowly coming to the end of this little crawl come on keys fly down here let me stab all you guys all right That's not where we want to be with this. We want to be down this way. Oh! Oh no! Oh really? about trying to stab this guy. Come on. Well, that was rather rude. Rather rude. Oh my gosh. So this is where we get the water originally. So this should be... We should be just about done. Whew. I'm out of arrows, so we, we have to be done at this point. I guess we don't have to be done, but boy howdy, if we don't find some more arrows, we might be... We might be in some real trouble. Well... That's a monster part. Drink up, you little toad face. Yes. 
All right. I was really hoping for some air hose. We can't shake the rupees down. Wow. Hmm. Still not a fan of the whip, really. Arrows here? A rupee. One rupee. Oh, that's. That's some infinite sadness right there, is what that is. Fire Sanctuary. Those are some big everythings. Well, first things first, we're going to save. some sort. Interesting. Okay. Clearly I missed one. I wonder if these are temporary. If I had to guess, I'm going to bet they probably are. Oh, sweet, sweet, some sweet arrows. And a fairy that we should have put in a bottle. Oh, well. Alright. Interesting. So, huh. So, that's also enough to do that. We're just going to come over here for a second. Get a better feel for the lay of the land here. So we're about to go on a shooting gallery, it looks like. And we only have X amount of arrows. Definitely not looking forward to this. I gotta admit, this reminds me of a uh, amusement park that my wife, my 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 family, it, with me, Odin, and sister, and uh, my mom and dad would frequent. They also had a shooting gallery of such. So this must have a key in it, is all I can figure. Yep, alright. 
And then I can read the room a little bit. Boom. Marrows. It was pretty cool. We used to go to this place called uh, Silver Dollar City. Oh, whoa. Huh. All right. <laughs> All that gold. He, he's pretty awesome. Interesting. So yeah, uh, Silver Dollar City. Um, around the part of the country that Digrat and I live now, uh, there's a place very similar called Dollywood. Very similar amusement park. Uh, very frontier, rustic, early, uh, turn of the century kind of inspired world. Wild West in some cases as well. Oh, we're familiar with that kind of door. Um, but they had a shooting gallery ride, which is pretty cool. You had a, a laser pistol, and you went around and just basically shot at things and got a score. And other than that, it was nothing to it. Oh, hello. These are just dark keys. They're not even elements. They're just evil. Excuse you and excuse you, number two. Now, hold the phone. This is clearly one of those, one of these things that's not like the other kind of things. I mean, look at that. Huh. Why do the developers give me things that make me think they're a puzzle? And then they're not a puzzle? That makes me sad. That doesn't look like a one-way path. Okay. That does look a little terrifying. Okay, so... Let's be smart. Send our beetle in first. What does the beetle find? So the beetle finds that this is just all soy bacon. Leading to there eventually, okay. What about over here? Hey, a little bit of treasure chest. A red rupee? You know, rupees are... Now that we kind of have the hang on the... Um, Fun wheel level. Rupees aren't that 
problematic, but... Whoa. That's pretty cool, actually. That reminds me of the uh, Handmaster from... Oh, wow. Pardon me, Total Club. Sorry to yawn like that. Interesting. Just snipe that dude. And snipe. Oh, he stopped. Snipe that dude. Anybody else want to be sniped? Nope. Alright. Spider Link, Spider Link. Over the edge, he's over the brink. basically where we came out at right no it can't be where we came out at because well I, I can't say that for certain I would like to think that I'm smart enough to witness that there is a grappable thing there but maybe not okay so we're going to save here we made some progress. Clearly, I do have to say that about a game that requires you to use save spots. There is some actual... Uh, there, there's a nice plethora of them. Alright, listen here. Buddy, buddy. I'm about to actually fight this guy, which I'm not a, a, a fan of. These are, of all the things that I fight, probably my least favorites. That, that actually went a lot better than I thought it was going to. All these snankies. this button all right so that it, it was a purple tail and I thought it to myself are purple tails different than the green tails and I was about to be very sad if they were but thankfully they're not okay so we have some sort of switch puzzle thing coming up well I'm glad we decided to do this today instead of start it yesterday because boy howdy there is just an awful lot somebody put three rupees up or two rupees up here like that interesting and also why is there one of those right there Send this over here. Hmm. 
I'm very confused. What else is in this tunnel? Anything? So there's light at the end of this tunnel, it looks like. So maybe, maybe the uh, the goal is to take a bomb to that rock. Maybe I don't know. But unless I try it, I won't know for certain, right? All right. So we basically done everything that we know to do. Uh, so now we're just gonna shoot this and. Jump on this and Whoa Buddy. Well that makes not a lick of sense. I mean not one bit of sense. Like get across to there. I mean... Oh, I see what's going on. Aha! Right idea, wrong implementation. Okay. Boy, that's annoying. Wow. All right. Wow. Okay. That's what was going on, is it was a standing pool of lava. So now we got some lava flow. So now this rock should start moving. There we go. That still is not totally explained to my opinion, but hey. We won't press it too much. Door is locked. Okay, we haven't got a key yet. This door we haven't gone in yet, though, so hey, there we go. Whoa! That is one crazy moblin. Okay. So it's hot. Interesting. Hey, there's the key we need. And now we're stuck here. But I, I, I want to say I'm smart. Right? Wow. I tried to use the bottle. Is there another? I 
Oh. Oh, how about that? Tutorial stuff. seem very heroic of me. Just leaving him stay put? Seems like really bad. Oh, nothing there either. Huh. I don't feel good about that. That's, 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 uh, that's some kind of, uh, really bad storytelling for Zelda game. Wow. Bottle here. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Monster horn, all right. I felt like that was going to happen. Okay. Oh! Interesting. This seemed to indicate that we would have to shoot that. Alright, let's try that again. Once more with all the feeling and, and less um less fail, right? Hey Sally! Welcome, just in time. We now have two sponsors. So Colin adds one minute and he gets the roundup bonus. Sally adds two more minutes. So that means with their roundup combined, we'll see exactly how many time how much time that adds to. Alright. Not what I was expecting. There we go. That's pretty neat. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna lie, that's that's an annoying mechanic, but it is neat. And had I never speared a pumpkin, I wouldn't know how to do any of that. The Turtle Club it is a buffet stream today, and we still got just a little bit to go before the buffet timer gets totaled. Right. 
Go ahead and save. Wait a second. If I can take one of those. Taking next weekend off for Easter. Um, well, Easter is on Sunday. And so we normally don't stream on Sundays now. So we will still be streaming on Saturday. We do know that the viewership will be a lot less because a lot of families will be out for Easter. But we will be active that Saturday. We can't take the water ball with us. Oh. Poor Magma. I was hoping to go save him, but the game does not wish for me to save him. Awesome. We will be here. We can save with the... I wonder if it'll actually have the the water glob on my uh, on my sword. That's kind of funny. Uh oh. Now what? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I'm glad we saved. Get off this tool. Onto this tool. Alright. Really? Okay. I have picked a fight with a monster that I don't think I can beat, Turtle Club. Alright, so it's trying there. Hey, morning, Huntress! that hurt it? It seems like it might have hurt it. Maybe? I don't know if my little big bottle of water is going to do anything about this guy. 
I don't know if bombs are actually going to do it either. Can I even... Can I even... I can't even target him. If he won't be any help here at all. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I do have a target. I do have a target. Alright. Just gotta be real fast on target. Whew! Had Aeris to run first thing. Finally got the windshield replaced and the car inspected. Hey, that's a plus, though. Magmanos. Oh my gosh. It's Magmanos, the hand of Lava Fate. Says I, it says I beat one of these? I don't ever remember beating one of these things. Alright. So maybe I can fly, grab the fruit, and come around. Nope. Maybe it's the other side and you grab it. No, nope, can't grab him either. Alright. Well. Doesn't appear to be anything up there either. to whoa is that it is that all oh my goodness okay all right wow okay but yeah, getting the, the windshield replaced, car inspected, all that, super important. It's, uh... Oh! What? Well, that's good. Uh, that kind of stuff is always no bueno. Oh! Turtle Club, it's nine! So we are going to do that thing that we do at this time. One second here, we're going to do some math. Total number of subscribers to the overall channel. Still 219, so no bonuses there, but that's fine. We currently have five viewers watching. Is that not amazing? We have two likes. That also is just amazing. So those two combined give us seven bonus minutes. Sally gives two minutes. Colin gives one minute because he was the first sponsor. But Colin also gives us a bonus round up to the nearest five. So with Sally and Colin and all the other time that we have available here today, guys, we're going to add 15 minutes to the stream. That is, that's quite a lot of time. We can accomplish quite a bit in 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and get this set up. Awesome, guys. Lurk Squad always representing. Boom. And let's see what we can do here. Um... Yeah, let's, let's get us some health hearts if we can. Got that timer set for there. Oh. Um. That's another dig spot that has just a hole in it. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. Clearly I'm getting up to that height. Alright. I see what you want, game. Making me actually regret dissing the whip earlier. Okay. Silva! 
Yo. <laughs> Legend of the Sleeping Statue. Okay, so what are these? Magma mitts. Oh. Well now. Well first we're going to test this with this clearly marked hole. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is neat. I, I I can tell if I were to do this a whole lot, it would get... Oh. Oh, wait a second. Is this going to blow me up or is this going to... Oh. Oh. Mag likes a lot. Okay. This is... This is pretty... This is pretty spit. I think this is probably my favorite tool in the whole game at this point. That is, that is pretty spe special there. That is... All right. Oh, wow. Um, you know, that's a very good question, Huntress. Uh, E3 being canceled is not too surprising. It's not the first time it's been canceled, to be honest. Um, that's interesting. At one point, E3 used to be just for normal people, uh, or non-normal people. It used to be like a, just an industry show for the industry. And then it became um, what we know it to be today. It used to be kind of like a, the consumer trade show as well. Uh, CES was very similar to that too. But it sort of became this uh, this event thing, you know, like people like you and I would go, okay, cool, we're going to go E3. Um, I, too, have not been to those kind of events. Personally, for me, uh, I like seeing all the stuff that's going on at them. You know, like Dragon Con, never been to Dragon Con. Uh, we thought about going to it. We were raising funds for it one year. And then a lot of things happened, and then Dragon Con became... Uh, much like every other public event, just a a, a way for you to go and, and risk having a, a COVID infection um, or a COVID variant or any number of other things that just really didn't make the whole experience um, all that worthwhile. I bet you this is one of those switches that... Alright, awesome. And so... You know, I I like I like events that are kind of like with a um, a competitive purpose. You know, I've been to a couple of large Magic the Gathering tournaments. I've been to a couple of, of large gaming tournaments. Um, but the one thing that happens at events like that and and I mean no disrespect, because I know I myself have been in this camp a couple of times in my life. But generally speaking, um, our our demographic, our culture, gamer culture, we're not the most hygienic people. And generally speaking, when you go to an event like CES or like E3 or PAX 
or uh, you know Magic the Gathering Grand Prix or any number of things like that you're usually going to risk getting what's called gamer crud and it's, it's yet another guy hanging from the edge of tomorrow big gigantic secret about this room okay um, we'll find a way to get him down I guess Galaxy Con. I've heard good things about Galaxy Con. And you know, most of the conventions, for people that have really good constitution, uh, they're not a bad problem, you know? Uh, and if you if you are very careful about what you do and who you interact with and what portions of such events you go to, um, for the most part, you're, you're going to be okay. You really are. But... Um, but you really do have to be careful about what you do. Because the, the last thing you really want to do with your own personal time, right? Hey, Incendio! Morning, man! is you don't want to wind up going to an event like that which should be a fun event right you should be able to experience some great time make some memories see some cool stuff and you, you don't want to wind up regretting it because you come home feeling like garbage and that's really that's my hesitancy to go to events like that um, and on top of that, you know, I'm an extrovert. I like in interacting with people. Yeah, it's a pretty cool mechanic. I have to admit that I'm actually, I actually like it. It's, it's pretty, uh, pretty epic, all things considered. All right, so opening those gates gets me to some water. But, you know, so I don't have a problem going to events like that and interacting with people and whatnot. But, you know, Dig Rat, who would... Most of those kind of trips are always better when shared with other people. And and for the most part, my other people is Dig Rat. Um, she's an introvert. And she doesn't really get the same kind of um, enjoyment that I get from being with a lot of people like that. And so, you know, you got to temper that. I helped him. A hidden room. Okay, it's a secret to everybody. You have ADHD, so big crowds equals big fun. Lots to see. Ditto. Ditto, Incendio. I I am I'm shiny squirrel all the way. And it gets a lot of good stimulus and a lot of good things just to kind of I hate to say it this way, but you know, when something starts to get a little bit on the boring side, there's something else interesting to like go after. All right. Interesting. Fake wall, he says. Huh. Yeah, you know, it, it definitely, uh, it definitely has some help there, um, and I, I thrive in that kind of environment. And my wife, though, she does not. 
So we are... Alright, so... Here is where we're going here, right? When in doubt, blow it up. I kind of regret blowing that up before stabbing it with the sword. Exactly, exactly, Huntress, exactly. Least busy times in a place to avoid crowds. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and, you know, finding someone who kind of compliments you like that is key in life, in my opinion. Um, day and age, you just prefer to stay home. Yeah. Okay. Excuse you. Like, worst game of snake ever, guys. And we got nothing for our... Oh. Yeah, you know, uh, you know what really helps with shopping on that? Because Digret, very similar. Um, she will do the um, the order, you know, the pickup delivery. And that's actually, for her, it's really an amazing thing. Oh, guys, we got our one minute timer reminder. But it's really amazing for her because it lets her put in, plan out what she needs. And then she doesn't have to worry about where things are. She just gets it. Alright. Well, we know we have to get to a bird statue. So we can save our game. Um, Wednesday is going to be pretty cool in my opinion. Because there is just so much to do and so much to see. Am I going the right way or the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. There's our timer. We're going to get a little bit of overtime today because we have to get to our save game statue. Oh, uh, yeah. I've, I've done that too. I, uh, I gotta admit, um, for certain shopping, I absolutely enjoy being one of the few people inside the grocery mart it just it's just it makes getting everything a lot easier too I mean that's that's to say a lot right um, all right this gets us to our statue And not having to worry about fighting with people if they're wanting things that you're wanting to. That's a big plus. That's a big plus. Alright. Well, Turtle Club, it's been an amazing stream. We have accomplished a whole lot. I was not expecting this dungeon to be anywhere near this involved. Oh my goodness. Uh, outside of just the little bit earlier today where we had to do... Well, we didn't have to, but we went to go check on somebody about their little mini quest they gave us. Um, it's been pretty cool. Um, I didn't expect it to take quite this long. We'll have to keep grinding at it. We have some excellent tools at our disposal, too, especially those digging claws. There's a lot of places where I've seen these holes, and I want to go dig to find out what's there. So I, myself, am going to have a good night, though. It is past time for bed. Um, Miss Walmart being open 24 hours. Oh my gosh, Huntress, me too. I would shop at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. 
because I'm an overnight guy, right? There is so much around here in this smaller town that Dick Wright and I live in now. Um, that just shuts down at 9 p.m. Um, everything else kind of shuts down at like 11. Nothing's open till midnight. And so if I'm up and we kind of get busy doing other things at home, um, when she goes to bed, there's nothing for me to do outside of this house. So, oh my gosh. But yeah, um, I'm going to have myself a good night, guys. Uh, Colin, thank you for being our new supporter of the channel. Really appreciate that, man. Enjoy that badge and all the perks that come with it. Um, all the cool emotes. And when we do any kind of public streams, you'll actually be allowed to jump into voice chat to stream with and, and chat with us as well. So, cool deal on that. Uh, thank you, Sally, for coming in here and representing the Lark Squad. Incendio and Huntress, always a pleasure as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have myself a good night. All you guys out there, have yourself a good breakfast, good lunch, good dinner, um, good shopping trip in Huntress's case. And, uh, you know, good weekend. It's Saturday, right? Weekend's begun for some people and it's already going for others. But yeah, whatever you're about to do, Turtle Club, stay safe, wash your hands, and have a good one. Take care and thanks for watching, guys.